So today, I want to make a very different video than usual. I'm going to explain a puzzle that I made up, and I'd love for you guys to try and answer it in the comments. It's a bit silly, but I found this exercise really instructive, even though I already knew the answer. In a couple of weeks, I'll upload a video discussing the solutions you sent in. So, here it goes. We work for a secret agency, a large spy network that will soon deploy many agents to spy on the enemy. We've decided it's best if all spies work in teams of two. However, this poses some unique challenges. If a spy gets caught, we can pretty much assume that their partner is caught as well, and both will be interrogated. We need to decide how we'll train the spies so that if they are caught, they reveal as little information about the agency as possible. For example, there are many other people spying on the enemy, so it would be good if the enemy can't tell if our spies came from us or not. Luckily for us, we know a bit about how the enemy interrogates, and it's quite weird. They always ask each person just one yes or no question, and we know that they only ever ask one of three known questions. They seem to pick which one of the questions to ask randomly. You absolutely don't want the enemy to know the right answer to any of these three questions. But you can't just get all your spies to lie, that's much too obvious. Instead, you've decided that the best solution is if the answers are random. For example, if we consider all the spies who get caught and end up being asked question 1, we want half of them to say yes and half of them to say no. But, remember our spies came in teams. The teammates get interrogated separately, and they may or may not be asked the same question. If they are asked the same question, they better give the same answer. Otherwise, the enemy will know they're lying. Of course, it's tempting to give the spies a way to communicate with each other, but the enemy makes sure that they can't. That said, your spies can talk to each other as much as they want beforehand, and they can bring as many non-communicating devices as they want. For example, a coin or a copy of Newton's book, Principia. So your mission is to ensure that these two things happen. For each question, on average, half the spies asked it will answer yes and half no. And team members, if they're asked the same question, should give the same answer. You're about to start training your spies to make this happen when your boss comes in and tells you that she wants you to ensure one more thing. She says that you ought to make sure that on average, team members only say the same answer half the time. Just to explain this a bit further, you still need to make sure that if your team members are asked the same question, they answer the same way. But if you look across all teams, then you should see half of the teammates saying the same thing, and half not. You splutter out that you don't think this is a good idea, but she insists that this will ensure that the answers look extra random. So, you decide to do two things. One, you'll come up with a scheme that meets all three demands, but then two, you will convince her that if you use a scheme like this, then the enemy will be able to tell that the spies are all working together to trick them, rather than telling the truth. So, tell me how you'd achieve both of these tasks. You can post solutions in the comments here, or I've set up accounts with these sites so that you can post it on there if it's easier. Remember, this is not a competition. Maybe it's best if you try putting up a solution before you read other people's. It's fine if you're wrong. I got this wrong the first time. The idea is just to think about it. Keep that in mind also when you comment on other people's solutions. So, try it, be nice, and... Good luck.